Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Sunday. I'm here with a quick story on um, Drew Sedora and her estranged husband, um, Ralph Pittman, or whichever way you want to say it, okay? These two um, filed for divorce simultaneously, almost, okay? One maybe 10 minutes before the other, tomatoes, tomatoes, whatever. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. But he recently did an interview with People Magazine and said, you know what? I apologize for my part. Um, in the demise of our marriage. He knows that marriage is difficult and sometimes, you know, things happen. And as a result of those things, the couple decides to part ways. Now, I will say this. I appreciate um, Ralph saying that, you know, he apologizes and he still loves his wife. And let me tell you this. There's a lot of men that cheat that absolutely 10 toes down still love their wife. But they can't just stop their cheating ways. It's a hot, hot mess. And people be like, well, no, 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 Diva. They don't love you if they cheating on you. Listen, there are some people that do the craziest things to other people, but they still love them. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying this right. I'm just saying it happens. So let's get into this Ralph Pittman and his apology uh, story right after this. <laughs> So we're going to get right into this story, guys, um, with Ralph from the Real Housewives of Atlanta and Drew Sedora. You know, he said he, he gives his sincerest apology for his role that he played in the breakdown of this relationship. So Ralph Pittman apologizes for his part in Drew Sedora's split, is optimi optimistic for brighter days ahead, right? And you know what? One thing I will say um, that I hope for these two, I hope they don't have a nasty divorce like Kim and Croy, um, Kim Zosiak and Corey Bearman is going through right now. I hope they don't have a nasty divorce like uh, with Kevin Costner and his uh, wife, Christine. Honey, that Christine is a pill. She, she messy. And she's pissed and she's 10 toes down and she don't give a darn about that prenup. She wants what she wants. So I hope that these two have an amicable divorce, okay, that they uncouple nicely. That's my hope and prayer for them. So he said, listen, I love my wife with all my heart. It's no secret that marriage is a challenging journey, one that is not for the faint of heart, Pittman uh, exclusively tells people. And, you know, a lot of people say, oh, marriage is so hard, so rough, right? I I'm of the mindset that it doesn't have to be this rocky, tumultuous road that you have to fight so hard to stay in relationship with each other. It's a basic foundation that if you have that, yeah, you're going to go through some trials and tribulations, but I don't think it has to be, oh my God, we got to fight for this relationship. Part of that basic foundation is communication, trust, and, and not cheating. It's part of the basics, but that's me, people. Let me know your thoughts, right? So look at those two together, Okay. Um, Ralph Pittman is taking accountability for his split from estranged wife, Drew Sedora. An exclusive statement to People, Pittman 40 apologizes for his role in the divorce from the 38-year-old Real Housewives of Atlanta star and shares his hopes for moving forward. He said, I love my wife with all my heart. It's no secret that marriage is challenging journey, one that is not for the faint of heart, he says. My family means the world to me, and I dedicated myself to providing support, encouragement, and acting as a pillar of strength for my wife and children. Now, do I believe he truly loves his family? Absolutely, I do. I do, right? But that doesn't mean that, you know, 
He still didn't like doing those extracurricular activities too, allegedly. Although we know that the real reason that ultimately led to my request for divorce, I'm taking this time to be more introspective and working to becoming the best version of myself, he continues. I stand by my response to the petition, however. I sincerely apologize for my part in the deterioration of our relationship. As seasons change, I'm hopeful and optimistic for brighter days ahead, okay? So look at them, cute couple. Drew is beautiful, great smile. You know, Ralph is a nice looking man. I always hate to see the demise of a family, right? Because um, it's always great for the children when they're raised in a home with their mom and their dad. But, you know, stuff happens and it's so sad. Those two look really, really good together. And March, the door um, lodged an explosive set of allegations against her, against her estranged partner. And Cooley claims he was a serial cheater and adulterer who abused her both mentally and financially and even got physically aggressive with her at one point. Whew, that's a lot of stuff, right? So Dora previously opened up to people about her decision to divorce amid their marriage struggles. Where everything in the position, petition I obviously stand by, and it was just a accumulation of things that should not happen in a marriage. And this is Drew talking, okay? Um, she explained, and I think the inability to own it, the inability to apologize, the inability to work through it, the inability to care about my emotional state and wanted to work and heal that was very challenging 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 gene okay i can't even say the word right but i think that we saw on the real housewives of atlanta um ralph just gaslit um drew all the time it was kind of sad to watch and to watch her go through it right according to sadora things reached a boiling point when some of their marital issues started to happen on camera and she began to feel embarrassed on top of what we were dealing with behind closed doors yeah embarrassment gets a lot of people right they can deal with it as long as nobody knows but them and the person that they're kind of living with. But when it's exposed to the world, it's something about that exposure that gets people um, making different decisions, okay? Wendy Williams is a prime example of that. I think she knew about the alleged mistress for years, decades even probably, right? Or at least a decade. And she was, now I don't want to say cool with it. She allowed it. Because, you know, it was in secret, so to speak. But once it got exposed, I think the embarrassment got to her. And that's when she started to make different decisions and different moves, right? So um, it was definitely the breaking point and enough is enough, she confessed. And I didn't see that coming. Of course, I was forever. But it was like there was nothing else left for me to hold on to because the behavior and the inappropriateness just never stopped. It was just too much. Despite the allegations, the separate up actress was hopeful for an amicable divorce. I'm hoping for a great co-parenting partner. I hope so too. I'm hoping for us to come out of this and be able to be friends and be respectful, she shared. I'm hoping for my kids to be happy and just really see what life has for me on the other side of all of this. It's hard to imagine right now, but I would love to just be completely whole moving forward. And you know, I hope that for her um, also, okay? Now it says, when the news broke of their um, separation, Pittman released an exclusive statement to people about the end of his marriage. Love is a beautiful thing, he wrote at the time. Unfortunately, we have made the difficult decision to move on to our next chapters, independent of each other. Drew and I have decided to file for divorce. We have three amazing young children and their mindset and growth is what is most important. As we navigate this difficult con difficult time i ask that you please respect our privacy you know it's funny i think that's the standard line for all celebrities when um they are going through something or getting a divorce it's always like as we navigate this difficult time i ask that you please respect our privacy well you know it's unfortunate but when you are a celebrity um your privacy is is no longer yours I didn't make that rule. That's just the, the fine print about being a celebrity. So Dora later shared her own statement with people after eight years of wholeheartedly fighting for my marriage. And see, if you was eight years is a long time, but it's not that long in terms of a marriage. And you're saying that you was fighting the whole time. It was almost like the minute you said I do, you had to, you was in the boxing ring. Going round after round after round, trying to hold this marriage together. 
right? She said, I made the agonizing decision to release my husband with love. Who shall release him with love, she said. Although Ralph and I have decided to move forward separately, the hope is to remain friends so that we can co-parent responsibly. In spite of our public life, I'm asking for privacy during this difficult time as my children and I have learned how to navigate through our new beginnings. Respectable, right? So like both of their statements, I wish both of them well, but wholeheartedly, I want to say this. I do, regardless of what Ralph has done or not done, I commend him for being able to publicly say, I messed up, I apologize, I still love my family, but you know what, we're moving forward. So I do pray for these two in their next chapter, that one, they go through a nice divorce, as nice as it could be, two, they co-parent nicely, and three, maybe Drew can circle back now to Josiah's father, and mend that relationship because as crazy as it is, Ju um, Ralph punked Drew on that TV, gaslit her the whole time. But ironically, in my opinion, Drew did that to Jos Josiah's father on the TV. But y'all let me know your thoughts, okay? So chat with me in the comments and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. You know the routine. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back to all of you. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And guys, the question is, or the statement is, let me know how you feel about um, Ralph apologizing to Drew. All right. And saying that he loves his family. and He still loves them. Well, anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.